Hey, what is up, guys? It is Kyle Assist here, Combat Soldier 50, bringing you my, uh, our first gameplay commentary for a while. Just things been getting settled in with our new channel. Uh, we're not going anywhere, like I said, guys. Uh, you, you know, I'm not trying to avoid this channel or anything. Uh, I, I'm really grateful that you guys are taking your time to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we are one away from 69 subscribers. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm very glad you guys have taken your time to pay attention and watch our videos um, to those of you that you did. Those of you who just subscribed, um, thanks, but it'd be nice if you'd actually watch our videos. See if we can get, we got 68 subscribers, let's see 68 views on every video, that'd be pretty awesome. Sorry, I was kind of AFC here for a minute, but, you know, I put, we put quite a bit of effort into these, this whole YouTube thing, uh, put a lot of money on our capture cards. Put, I put, I had to pay money to get my computer up to date. Um, no, it takes a lot of it, um, takes a lot of commitment and uh, effort to do this kind of stuff. So, if you guys do enjoy this commentary, please drop it a like. And I, if you guys have not checked out our channel, I will be sure to link our new channel in this video. I'll probably annotate it. Uh, I'll annotate I'll annotate the subscribe button to this channel and our new channel if you'd like to subscribe to both of those. If you're not already, but if you are subscribed to this channel, trust me, you're gonna like trolling tryhards. Uh, it's more. We take more of an, more of an easy, funny kind of route to Modern Warfare Three. Um, actually, that's that's what this commentary is about. Is Modern Warfare Three itself? I you know I know we're at the point in the year Black Ops Two can come out pretty soon here, and I'm sure all of you are getting semi bored of Modern Warfare Three, if not super bored of Modern Warfare Three, which is me. Now I have this thing where, if I'm doing good. I'll just play for hours. I mean, I'm addicted. I, I may, I may not be even having fun because it's getting easy. And I'm like, here, I'm gonna make it, make a very simple. I don't know what, I don't know what the term, the term is for it, but make a comparison. I'm, I can pretty much guarantee you that over half of the people in this world that do drugs, I can guarantee you probably at least half of them don't want to do drugs they're just addicted they can't stop but they want to stop but they just can't and that's the way it is with me in modern Warfare 3 and I'm and you can call me a nerd whenever you want to say but I can pretty much guarantee you any of you that are watching right now probably can say the same thing because if you love Call of Duty like I do and a lot of people do you wouldn't be watching if you didn't you wouldn't be watching the video right now you wouldn't be watching any Call of Duty videos on YouTube you wouldn't give a shit about Call of Duty but no you you like to watch my videos and me and Arod's videos, or other people's videos, for that matter. And it all just goes to that addiction factor. Call of Duty just, just does stuff to you, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a problem with it. It just eats a lot of hours, time time stuff. You know, I see, I figured, you know, let's see. Might as well make some videos while I'm playing Call of Duty, man. Get my name out there just for some fun. No, it, you, you can't. You can't. It's, addictions are hard to get rid of, man. Call of Duty's mine. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of heroin, cocaine, and some crack. No, I'm just kidding. Some bath salts. <laughs> no, Call of Duty is like my drug, pretty much. And you guys are going to call me nerds in the comments. No, no, I know you guys. You guys probably won't, but... You know, I don't care if you do or not, but I, I can guarantee you, all of you that's watching right now, you have, you have nothing better to do right now, so you're watching a Call of Duty video on YouTube. So I'm not making fun of anybody, and I am not trying to hurt anybody, but... Call of Duty is addicting, and you know you can't stop playing it. I know I can't. Uh, I honestly don't like Modern Warfare 3 that much. Like it's it's I'm good at it. That's why I keep playing it. Like Black Ops, I did not like because I was just bad at it. And I, no, it wasn't that it was bad. At it, that's why I didn't like it. I just didn't. I just don't like how Black Ops plays. It's it's more of a campy kind of game, and I really hate that. So I just played zombies whole entire Black Ops. But Modern Warfare 3, it's really addicting. So I'm good at it. Uh, for whatever reason, so I'm gonna get turned on, son. But it's like the be the better I do, the more addicted I get to this game. And Black Ops, I I didn't really I don't, I never really connected with Black Ops. So I was never really that much of a fan with it. I always preferred to play COD Four multiplayer or Modern Warfare Two multiplayer when Black Ops was out. Uh, the only thing I played in Black Ops was zombies, so I was never really good at Black Ops. I mean, my KD was still positive, but nowhere near what it is right now. 
And the only reason I even play Black Ops at all is, you know, just that addiction factor. And not to mention the fact that everybody else is addicted, so all your friends are playing it too. So you can't get, you can't play any other games with your friends. Uh, mostly, I, I play with games my friends want to play because I don't know about you guys, but I can't have too much fun playing by myself. I play with parties and friends more than I do with by myself because I have a lot more fun that way. So it all comes down to that: the how many people are playing the game, the addiction factor, which is pretty much everyone that in the world that plays video games knows about Call of Duty and addicted to Call of Duty. It all comes down to the addiction factor, and. And if it's not the addiction, then it's your friends playing it because they don't want to play anything else because they're addicted to it. So I mean, it's just, it's just. I know I'm not mad. I'm not. I'm not going on rant here. I'm not mad at Call of Duty. And another thing about Call of Duty too is that, are we gonna? Is this gonna be one of those games that everybody goes back? I mean, only use me, Blade. He did a video about this, and uh, I'm giving my thoughts on it. He. He was making a video about, you know, how everybody, everybody after a while, they went back to the Call of Duty before. Like, everybody was going back to Black Ops now. And next year, do you think people are going to go back to Modern Warfare 3? When Black Ops 3 or Modern Warfare 4 is coming out? If they even continue, this, if they continue making Call of Duties, do you think people are going to go back to the oldest game? During Modern Warfare 3, you know, my thoughts, I don't know. Maybe just, just get that Moab, because I can... Pretty sure that more than half the people that play Modern Warfare 2 are just trying to get nukes in that game because that's they had fun doing, they had enjoying it, they had good memories on that game. And I really, ha I've had some good memories on Modern Warfare 3, but I don't think I'm gonna come back to playing it when Black Ops 2 comes out. I, I just, I, I get too angry over it. It's not worth getting angry over. And I'm sure a lot of you can connect to that because rage quitting. I do it all the time, guys. I'm sure you guys do too. So that's those are my thoughts on Call of Duty. It's addictive. Your friends play it, so that's pretty much what you play if you play in parties. I don't think Modern Warfare 3 is going to be one of those games that people come back and play, because Black Ops just seems so new. Like they're trying to trying something different, and a lot of people are hating on it because they're trying something different for once. But really, those people need to grow up and accept change, because pretty much Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 was Modern Warfare 2 with some sparkles on it. Basically, they didn't really do anything to it. They just changed the. See, the case seems to me that they changed like the health is a lot less. I, I don't know what you you guys tell me, but it seems like the health is a lot less. And the only thing they did in this game was put the ACR and MP7, which is totally overpowered over everything else, and it makes it really hard to use any other gun that you want. I don't have a problem with that because you know, oh, you try to use an ACR, well, I'll just use my ACR then too. But it's like. It's constantly annoying because, I mean, if you want to have fun playing with other guns, it's it's not you can't do good with other guns because it's impossible to compete with the overpowered weapons. And in Modern Warfare 2, it wasn't really the same way. You could pretty much pick up any gun and do good with it because they're all equally powered. Same with COD 4 and World at War. You could do good with any gun because they're all equally powered. It's just, I mean, also the spawn systems too. Like, how do spawn systems get worse, like, every game? I'm not. This isn't a rip on. I'm, I'm not ripping on Call of Duty in this video. I'm just, just pointing out that I don't think anybody's gonna come back and play this game when Black Ops 2 comes out, because Black Ops 2 is gonna be a lot different. It's gonna be more fun, in my opinion, and it just seems. I, I watched a video that Xdraws was interviewing someone from Optic Nation, Optic Gaming. I'm not sure which one it is from, but they, they, the person said they got to play Black Ops 2 early for six hours. And they said there was like no gun at all that stood out as like an overpower weapon. Nobody's using that one gun. Everybody's using all the guns because they were having a good time enjoying themselves. Just you know, using all the other guns because they were equally powered. And I'm really excited about that. So I covered a lot of topics in this commentary. Uh, hopefully, I've made up for all the lost time that we haven't posted for weeks. And if you guys are not subscribed already. Would you please do that? And because if you guys have watched all the way up to this point in the video, you're obviously enjoying it, so could you drop the video a like? And please click those subscribe annotation buttons on the screen if you have not already. That's all I have for this, you guys. Just enjoy the rest of this gameplay. I do go pretty much ham. Nothing impressive of a gameplay, as you can see by the score, but I, I do go on a little bit of a rampage at the end. So thanks for watching, you guys, and I'm out.